this episode of Travelog, I journey to Sandal County on the upper reaches of the Pearl River. There I'll immerse myself in the world of the Shui people, an ethnic minority whose name literally means water. The Pearl River, known in Chinese as the Zhujiang, with its eastern, western and northern tributaries, it's actually a vast river system, the third longest river in China and the second largest by volume. Among the mountains surrounding its western tributary lies Sandal County. Welcome to Sandal County. So, here in the mountains, the Pearl River becomes the Dulio River, which is an important source of water for the many ethnic minorities who live in the surrounding regions, as you can no doubt tell from the pictograph. Sandal is the only Shui autonomous county in China, and over half of the country's ethnic Shui people live here. Their name literally means water. And with this entire region surrounded by mountains, the Dulio River serves as their lifeline. Ethnic minorities account for over 90% of Sandal County's population. I'm afraid it will eat my fingers actually. Not often you get to see live pigs being sold at a market. Um, so this place is called Dayu Village and it's home to two main ethnic groups, the ethnic Shui, who uh, like the lady behind me tend to wear white head cloths and the ethnic Niao who tend to have colourful head cloths. So they're pretty much selling everything under the sun, even dogs, which are hopefully will be kept as pets. <laughs> Don't worry, these little fellas are in the clear. More than I can say about these guys. <laughs> As a result of Sandal County's isolation, life here is still quite traditional. For many of the locals, market day is a chance to get together, find out what's happening in other villages, and maybe even get a dress or two. This market is bustling, and one thing's for sure, it's definitely a lot more hands-on than your local Tesco. The fact is, many of the locals are self-sufficient, so there's more window shopping going on than actual purchases. It's one big party. From Daiyu village, we continue west along the Dulio River. There's so much rainfall here that in the past, the river was deep enough for cargo ships. But the advent of modern roads has put all that behind them. Oh wow, it's so peaceful here. So we've come to this place called Zenlei village, which is split between three settlements, top, middle and bottom. And the ethnic Shui live in the top and the bottom ones, whereas the ethnic Miao live in the middle. 
And even though they're separated, they all get along very well with each other. They spend festivals together. But this place is just absolutely idyllic. With houses sprouting from the hillside like mushrooms after the rain, Zhenlei is the very definition of rustic. Here, crisp water irrigates the fields, and everything the villagers eat, they grow themselves. There's virtually zero tourism here. We're the only outsiders. <笑>我们看这个房子特别漂亮<笑> 准备好过端子。没有什么准备，我两天的就就在出比的。哦，就是家里必须得包那个叫什么来着？一包韭菜。那个到哪两？到那天的再包了。哦哦，现在不用准备了是吧？那个是搞新鲜的鱼，新
Despite their relatively small population of 400,000, the Shri are one of the few ethnic minorities with their own calendar and written language. Their culture stems from dual origins, the hill tribes of southern China and the aristocratic elite who fled here from the central plains. <笑>但是水书它也是有多种写法这个正规规定就是这样写也可以有创意有创意嘛水书好像字很多总共有几千个腿吧有四千多个四千多种那看的历史好像也很悠久了长得特别像甲骨文 它并不是那个甲骨文，它它们的起源基本上都是一个朝代的。我们的水书的种子呢，就在中原那边带过来的。但是我看就是这些字，就是很有特点，因为我我我在楼上看到有那个那个本身的册子里头就有好多那些圈
你好。啊，你好。这就马尾秀了哈。哎，这就是马尾秀。那您这现在做的是什么呀？包子马尾呀。中间是马尾嘛。哦，这个就是马尾。哎，传说中的马尾。我一直以为马尾是绣着一个画还是什么呢？是里边包的马尾、啊。是里边包的那个。这为什么呀？这这是起什么作用？嗯，马尾包的是成弹性。哦。其他东西拿来绣不不起来。哦。像这样，你看。就等于用这个比较结实，是吗？是是是是。就一般的线就。他想做什么花就编什么花，这个就是软性一点，可以做水手花，哦、就不用必须不用画，就是想做龙就做龙，想画凤就做、哦、做凤，哎，比较灵活，这个就是就是随性。还有马尾呢，它不腐烂、哦，几千年都不腐烂。那细节那么好哈、啊，就是这个，这一般一般的人做不出来，是做的好，手工好的话，一万多一件，一件一万多卖一件衣服，啊、就是一年嘛，才、就是一年嘛啊、才做这一一床背带，才是一万多，所以就基本上就没有多少人做，太难了，呃呃，多细呀、啊、这个。首、嗯、先，细你看不清楚的啊。比如这朵花，就是天上的云，就是比这个就是。I can't tell you how incredibly, incredibly intricate this is because I'm looking at these bits of thread. I mean, I've got to take off my glasses and just get real close. You've got to put it under a magnifying glass, but like in this one little piece of thread, there's got to be at least. Hundreds, if not thousands, of of little twists and turns. No wonder it's so strong, but incredible, really incredible. Coming up next, it's all one big party as I join the ethnic Shui in celebrating the longest festival in the world, Duan Festival. So uh, you might be wondering why I'm buying boxes of strawberry milk. It's the most important festival of the year for the ethnic tree and today is equivalent to what is basically New Year's Eve and I can't exactly visit anyone empty handed so here we go. Just imagine getting all your annual leave and public holidays at the same time. That's the Duan Festival of the Shui people. Lasting 49 days, it's the longest festival in the world. And the date's calculated according to the Lunar Solar Shui calendar. <笑>哇这个真的是得有五六斤了吧这个啊真是过年的感觉有这个气氛我看家家户户都在做饭呢啊明天还更热闹今天我们才开始备菜明天客人来了然后这就很热闹这个就是著名的鱼包韭菜对
or has just finished. drum that people beat here when, it, uh, when it's uh, the new year, but um, it looks like it's a, it's a, a duo. <笑>这个好像挺难的 <不难的>, <笑> 我还有看你的帽帽 <laughs> These drums we really are ringing in the new year. The festival proper starts after midnight, and it used to be that no one was allowed to eat before then. The rules are slightly more relaxed now but food is still first brought out and offered to the ancestors before the guests get to dig in. As a sign of respect, the hosts never eat before midnight. So uh, tonight's kind of like a combination of New Year's Eve plus Christmas Eve and after midnight everyone basically just goes out to meet relatives and friends and neighbours and just eat and drink all night long. And then we're going to go to the Alright, most importantly it's drinking. I'm kind of tipsy already. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We all know how this night is going to end. In case you can't tell, I am absolutely off my face right now. But that's because of how generous everyone is. Look, people here aren't well off, so unlike our commercial holidays, Duan Festival actually means something to the Shui. It's one of the few times they can really let loose with family and friends. It's the next morning, and like everyone else, I am hungover. Duan Festival always takes place after the autumn rice harvest, which is just as well as everyone has plenty of time for a lion. Except that doesn't seem to be happening today.
you can tell it's a pretty festive day what, with uh, all of the motorbikes parked by the road. Essentially the New Year's Day for the local Shri and uh, they're going to all watch this horse racing event but um, it's up this hill and so many people here. I've never seen so much traffic on a mountain road. Most people just walk in it. Just about caught the end of the horse race. Uh, never expected this many people to be here. What a turnout. I mean, I guess it is the new year for them, but didn't realize it would be so festive. It's kind of strange to see horse racing in mountainous southern China. I mean, look at this place. There are no open plains to run on. But then, the Shui have always used horses to navigate their hills. And today seems to be a celebration of their equine history. I love it, it's all so messy. It's very chaotic here, but that's yeah, part of the fun, isn't it? I mean, there's still people standing in the middle of the race course. But this is as close to the action as it gets. It feels less like a race and more like the running of the bulls. Well, except that most of the punters here are still kind of drunk, and judging by the way they're racing, the jockeys are too. Ah, well. Everyone's just here to have a bit of fun. I guess this is the essence of Duan Festival. Loud, boisterous and a whole lot of fun. To think, this is just the first day. <laughs> what a blast. I mean, come to think of it, it's almost two months worth of festivities. But sadly, I won't be here for the grand finale because we're still making our way towards the source of the Pearl River. But as for the local ethnic tray, the party must go on.